Isabel, congratulations to Holy Trinity on reaching the McLaren Cup final. Thank you very um, much. There's a great buzz about the school at the minute and the excitement building ahead of the final. Oh, totally. Um, I mean, you have to be here every single day to witness exactly what the children are going through and what the team in particular are and, and how they feel at this point in time, never mind the staff. Uh, certainly it's a real privilege to have got now to the Ulster final of the McLaren and Cup. This is our second time now within three years and it is such an amazing achievement and certainly everybody is on board, everybody is written behind the, the team and their coaches. Um, we know they have probably a good fight on their hands and a good uh, football game on their hands but certainly we are fine and making sure that there will be as much support as we possibly can provide in the athletic grounds on the Monday and be cheering them on as much as possible. And Gaelic Games plays an important part of life here in Holy Trinity. They have a, a wonderful tradition built up throughout the years and this team will be looking to add their own bit of history on the 19th of March. Absolutely. Um, as you know, and maybe you don't know, but certainly we are a specialist school for sport. Um, and that happened many, many years ago. And therefore, as a result of that, it has actually developed to uh, participating in a lot of games, introducing an awful lot of sports. Uh, obviously, Gaelic football would be a priority. I mean, we're in Cookstown, which is a Tyrone stronghold for sport. Um, and obviously, with the Gaelic football boys and girls, uh, we also then have our netball, or sorry, our camogie, our hurling, our handball, all of those uh, different Irish games coming on board. Um, I suppose our success has really, really grown over the recent years. We've always been in vocational schools, moved into McLaren, um, and certainly it is a real success and a real privilege to be where we are at this point in time. Even in the course of this year, our Year 8 children have won the Oshin McGrath uh, Shield, uh, Year 12 have won the Rafferty Cup, and the team that are actually playing now in the final on Monday, a lot of those players were on the Year 12 Rafferty final two years ago. So they know what disappointment was like on that particular day. And I know speaking to a lot of the boys, they just do not want that disappointment again. So they certainly are all vying to make sure that hopefully the Monday will be a very, success, very successful day for them. Um, but as regards the Gaelic Games growing, I mean, we have a great tradition of sport here. It has really, it's there in the community and it's there in the school on a daily basis, during school, after school. Uh, there's so many games happening. The boys are there, the girls are there. The girls have done really, really well and excelled this year in relation to their football and their kabogie. And I suppose a lot of that is down to their own determination and their grit and skill of getting involved, but also to the coaches. Obviously, the majority of our teachers are all coaching. They do this of their own time after school and they encourage the, the children, boys and girls, and they make sure that if they're out there, Priority is they're disciplined on the team and they're disciplined on the field and that is very, very important. And they're going out there representing themselves, representing the school, representing their families and being very proud of who they are. And naturally to win is a complete bonus and we all want that for every, every one of the teams. So yeah, uh, Gaelic sport does play a big, big part here in the school. Um, everybody is making sure that they have some part to play within obviously leading up to the final. And of course we want to make sure that it's a successful day. And you, you mentioned community there and really Holy Trinity's role in the local community is, is vital mm -hmm. at the moment and it's, it's one you're hoping to build on in the future. We certainly are. Uh, we have quite a widespread uh, community involvement and we have quite a wide catchment area as well. You know, so you're moving from uh, Money Moor, Ballandary, you're going up to Arbo, Muirtown, over across to Rock Pomeroy and then Donnemoor, Kildress, Stewartstown, all of those areas. So it is a very, very wide area. Um, I know the support that our players, our children, even within their own clubs, the support that they get there, the grounding that they get in their clubs. And it's also with the clubs working together along with the school so that we all help each other. And naturally we want to build on that because what's good for us is going to be good for the clubs and what's good for the club is going to be obviously good for ourselves. Um, and I suppose that will also come to fruition whenever we eventually move into our brand new school building, which we hope will be very on a very, very soon basis. Um, the uh, facilities that we will have, because we certainly have nothing worth talking about at this point in time, but the facilities that we will have with our new build will be great. It'll be such a change from where we are. And I know I have the plans here uh, behind me here and to have a fully sized 3G pitch, you know, for to play professional games and really make sure that every team that comes here, including our own children for training purposes, for playing games, they get that opportunity to go out onto a full size pitch in their own locality is very, very important. Uh, having our uh, fitness suite, our uh, strength and conditioning suites, and making sure that handball itself is included, that there's space for camogie and hurling, everything 
to have all those extra facilities will just be such a complete change. We would just won't know ourselves. So we're looking forward to that, building on the reputation that we have, building on our community, and obviously building on the number of children that are going to be coming forth so that as we have at the minute one team per year group, uh, we now know that we are in a position with our junior children at, minute, at this point in time that we can actually now have possibly two teams going through per year group, if not more. So that is something to look forward to.